Hello and good evening. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Dear students. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the class. How's it going? How was your day? Mm -hmm. Hard. It was I hard. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I imagine. I'm tired. A little tired or very tired? Very tired. Very tired. Oh, my goodness. Well, just one more hour of study. Later, maybe you can relax. Yes? Yes. One hour to go. One hour to go, Miss Sandra. It's good to see you. How was your weekend? Tell me. You had a good weekend. It's nice. Was nice. <laughs> it was nice. Huh? Short. Short, but nice. <laughs> yes. Short. Okay. Um, welcome, everyone. I can see some students already, um, like Patricia, Carlos, Natalie, Samuel. Welcome to the session. Are you ready to start practicing your English? That's my neighbor's dog. <laughs> Uh-huh. Are you ready? Are you ready to participate? Remember, cameras must be on and you have to have active participation. Fortunately, I feel better. I feel better. Uh, you might remember that last week I was really sick. And I want to thank you for your patience. Um, also in Gras Corporativos, patients that allow me to teach the class with no camera. Uh, that was like for two or three days. Um, today, uh, fortunately, fortunately, I feel better so I can activate my camera. Uh, I'm not going to be sneezing or, or coughing so much. So we can do it with camera on. Please, if you can activate your camera, do so. If you can activate your camera, do so. All right. Welcome, everyone. How are you tonight, Carlos? What's going on? Fine. Good. And you? Men, men of short words. Huh? <laughs> Everything okay, everything okay. Thank you, thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Hey, Jose Samuel, welcome to tonight's class. How's it going, sir? Can you hear me? Sam? Okay, maybe we don't have a good connection there. Um, how about Yancy? Can you hear me, Yancy? Are you around? <laughs> okay, some people might be having audio problems. At least I know I can talk to Sandra, Carlos. Okay, what about you, Patricia? Can you hear me? How's it going, lady? Yes, good evening, teacher. What's going on, Miss Salazar? Um... What's new? What's new with you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing much. I don't. No. <laughs> I don't think so. A, a day is different. Every day is different. Yes. Not much. Not much. <laughs> no. mm. Talk to me. Talk to me. I didn't see you. I didn't see you Saturday nor Sunday. So two days. Imagine I miss practicing with you. Practice your English. What about, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Okay, the ones that can participate, let's 
do it. Today we're going to combine, we're going to combine present perfect with simple past. That's the target tonight. Um, it's important, it's important to, um, let me see, where is that I can, Hello. wait, 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 wait. It's important to mention to you that um, you need to like really uh, pay attention to the um, the verb in this case. Yes, the verb. You need to know the verb in um, simple present, right? Simple past. And past participle. Qué raro esta vez Hello, no me da la opción de compartir así. Let me move this. Let me move this. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. Let me move this one over here. Give me one second, guys. Happens that I have two monitors. Okay. Let's see. Okay, mm -mm. no, still. Okay, let me try now. Okay, please tell me. Oh my goodness. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, but I cannot. I cannot find the option to get your faces. Oh my God, but I'm gonna have to do it without it. I always like to, siempre me gusta poner acá sus, sus caritas para estarlos viendo. So let me try to move this one again. So what we're going to do guys is that we're going to mix simple simple past with present perfect. We're going to make a question using um, present perfect, okay? And uh, we're going to respond affirmative or negative, and there is where we're going to uh, use our knowledge. Remember, present perfect is one tense, and simple past is a different tense. Okay, so maybe I can at least have your list right here. Okay. So let's just start with this verb, okay? The ones that we have on the screen. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? I'm going to change that, okay? But first, Note the answer. If it's affirmative, you affirm with the present perfect. You will say, yes, I have. Yes? Repeat. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. If you see, there is a period here. You finish. You finish there the short answer. And then you open a new, a new sentence, which is the confirmation of the short answer. But here, you're going to use the simple pass of the verb. Eaten was in present uh, participle, right? Past participle. And eight is in simple past. We're gonna use this in the affirmative state, okay? I ate it once in Paris. I ate it uh, once uh, last year, for example or you give your personal information. Now, when it's negative, you say, you would say, no, I haven't. Repeat, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. And then no, you need to confirm, right, the negative statements. I've never eaten it. Repeat, I've never eaten it. I've, I've never, never eaten it. Eaten, eaten, 
eaten. Eaten it. it. Never eaten it. Eaten it. Eaten it. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Check the other one. Okay, so let's just start with have. Let's just start with have. Uh, I want to ask... A, I want to ask the students a question and a volunteer answer me, okay? Raise your hand and uh, you answer. My question is, have you, have you ever eaten, have you ever eaten flor de isote? Yes, I have. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yes, I have. I. I. No recuerdo cuando I ate it. I ate it. I ate it. Uh, when I was five years old, or I ate it once. Um, I remember over there in um, Aguachapan. I don't know. You tell your personal information where that happened. Yeah. What about you, uh, Sandra? I heard, I heard, I heard you saying something, Sandra. Have you? Yes, I have. I ate it in a birthday. In a birthday? Yes. <laughs> because I like the flortista. <laughs> don't tell me. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. But I know that many people like it. So you like it, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Somebody else has an answer for us? Okay. Nobody else. Okay. Nobody else. Ven, acá el had se usa igualito, ¿verdad? Que el, que el, eh, hablando de comida, ¿eh? Have you ever had green curry? Green curry is a type of food. And yes, I have. Look, you can also use try, T-R-Y, but in this case, the past, the past or participle tried. Yes, I have. I tried it. I tried it several years ago. Or no, I haven't. I've never had it. I've never, I've never had it. Yeah. Nunca, es como decir, nunca lo he probado, ¿verdad? Nunca lo he comido. I've never had it. Do you understand? Do you have any question? Let's in use, Spanish. in Spanish? Yes. What is green curry? No, nah, green curry is, is, is not, a, in Spanish, is not possible. Because it's, it's, a, it's a type of dish. It's a type of dish that is not from El Salvador, right? It's like it's like saying pupusas from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's a typical food. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a picture. Let me see. We can show you here. Um, of course, it's something that has to do with green, right? We're talking about foreign, foreign types of food, right? Um, where is this type of food from? Maybe it's from some country in Asia, right? So here's, here's some picture of green curry. Let me see. I'm going to send you this one. It doesn't really see attractive to me, to be honest with you. Uh, although, remember that you you all, you can also mix food with, well, I'm not good at food, but <laughs> you can also mix food with chicken, with meat, so you can make it more attractive. So this is just some pictures that, where you can check it. But obviously, uh, it doesn't have a translation for sure, right? Let me know if you can see that one. And um, this food is from Thailand, if I'm not mistaken, okay? 
es una comida tailandesa. So, green curry. Um, let's use have, have, but, but talking about food, okay? For example, have you ever had um have you ever had a what you want to talk about salvadoran food or you want to talk about foreign food for example have you ever had chinese food volunteers Hello? Have you ever had Chinese food? Yes, I have. I tried it 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yes. I, I tried it. I tried it. Tried, tried, Try. tried it. Tried it. Yes, I have. I tried it 10 years ago. Repeat. Yes, I have. I tried it 10 years ago. Tried, 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 tried it. Yeah. Tried it. Uh, I tried it. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Somebody else? Yes, I have. I tried it um, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about something maybe that you may not like. Huh? <laughs> have you ever tried? Um, Have you ever tried, I'm sorry, have you ever had, have you ever had a beetroot? What? Repeat, please. Have you ever had beetroot? Oh, Do you know what that is? No. No. Check that link. I, I chatted you a link. No, that's radish. Yeah. Beetroot is different. Hey, have you ever have you ever eaten have you ever eaten beetroot? Yes, yeah, I yeah. have, but I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. You too. You too. Who, who said? Who said? Who said that? Yeah, me, Yancy. I don't Yancy. like, but maybe in in rush salad. Oh, maybe in a Russian salad. Ah, in a Russian salad, but but just just the beetroot, no, huh? Not much. Not much. What about you? What about you guys? Have you ever eaten beetroot? Talk to me. Yes, I have, and I love it. Uh huh. Confirm. Confirm. Yes, I have. I. And I love it. I eat. I ate, ate it. Ate it. I ate it. It uh, two years ago. And, and you love it. Salad. <laughs> oh, in the Russian salad. Delicious. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. But just the just the beetroot. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. 
Oh my god, a lot. <laughs> oh my god. My father, my father really likes it. I don't like it. <gasps> Honestly. Why, oh, mister? <laughs> Why? I don't know the smell. The smell is not really attractive to me, you know. It's it's a little smelly, yes or no? It's a little smelly. Like a little weird smell. Okay, I want you to I want you to make a question using have you ever? Have you ever? Teacher Kalev is going to make the last question. Okay. Okay, guys. Have you ever gone to El Tunco Beach? No, I have never gone to the Tunco Beach. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Jancy. Somebody else? No, I haven't. I've never had it. Have? Niña. Yes, I have. Excuse me, gone. <laughs> No, I okay, I haven't. Uh -huh. I I never gone it. I never okay. gone. I said yeah, there. I've never gone there. Okay. I never gone there. Yes, porque en este caso we're talking about a place. Okay, okay, somebody else. Yes, I have. Huh? I went, I went it uh, last month. I vamos a decir, I went there. I, I went there. Yeah. I, I went there last month. Correct. Correct. I went there mm -hmm. last month. Okay, nice. Nice. Good job. Okay, it's your turn. It's your turn. Make a question using have you ever. Prepare your question, please. Have you ever visited? Have you ever gone? Have you ever drunk? Have you ever uh, bought? Yeah. Have you ever worked? Have you ever slept? Etc. 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 I'll give you one minute to prepare your question. Now, prepare, prepare your question. Only one question. How you ever have garros? <laughs> garros soup. It's garros soup, huh? Yes. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've never eaten it or or tried it. Correct. I never tried it. I never. I've. I've never, I've never eaten it. Okay, nice. Good job. Make a question, Jess. Is, was that you, Jess? Yes. Jessica? Okay, okay. I recognize now your voice. No sé ahora por qué no me permite este, verles las caritas acá. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Sí, me preocupa porque me gusta verlos. I don't know what happened. Anyways, anyways, Jessica, can you make a question, please, for the class? You seen have okay. you ever? Have you ever visited to the Muna Museum? M museum? Yeah, museum. Me repeat, museum. Museum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Have you ever visited the Muna Museum? Have you guys? Yes, I have. I visited a museum in Dallas, Texas. Ajá, solo que ahí como dijiste, I visited. Este, este it ya representa al, al museum. Ya no necesitas mencionarlo. Oh. O decís, I visited. O decís, I visited, I visited. I visited the um, I visited the uh, museum. O o o o decís el nombre o usas el et. Okay. Let me see. Okay, perfect. Let me see, Natalia. Do you have a question, Natalia, or no? Tenes audio? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Have you ever? Okay. Have you ever? played soccer with your friends okay have you ever played soccer with your friends work on that pronunciation uh-huh have you guys Can you repeat repeat please have you ever played soccer with your friends oh nicer yes. Yes, I, have. I have it. I played today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you say, Sandra, now? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I played uh, with my friend. Okay, you said, no, I haven't. And then? I never played soccer. I never played soccer or I never played it. Yeah, that's correct. Ahí aplica. Uh, yeah, I never, I've, I've never played soccer. No, I haven't. I've never played soccer. I've never played it. Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> Make a question. Let me see. Patricia Sanchez. No, eres la misma hasta dos veces. Patricia Salazar. Um, have you ever drive driving a car? Driven. Driven. Okay. Have you ever driven a car? Mm, nice. Aha, uh -huh, guys, have you? Yes, I have. I driven a car almost every day. Excellent. Woohoo! Quien más ahí? Somebody else. Good job. Have you driven a car? No, I have never. The oh, in the future you will. <laughs> yeah. In the future you will. Somebody else? Hey, women are as good drivers as men. Right, guys? Right, teacher. Right. Totally agree. Yes, <laughs> totally agree. Totally agree. Okay. Totally agree. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Next question. I want to practice this more. Let me see. Can I? Somebody? Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay. Have you ever eaten ratatouille? Have you ever eaten what? <laughs> ratatouille. Ratatouille? <laughs> Is that serious? I don't know. <laughs> I never eaten it. You have never eaten it. Me, me, me neither. I have never eaten it. What's that, lady? Are you talking about a movie? It's a, a meal from the movie. It's a meal from the movie. Is yeah. it? That's a French dish, isn't it? Yeah. It's a French dish. Oh no. <laughs> it has only in China. <laughs> yeah, only in Asia. 
in Asia, they, they eat everything, right? Bats, rats, rodents, insects. Yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> It has any animal. It has a tomato, eggplant. It's only vegetables. It's vegetarian. No, animal. no. no I was just saying. I was just saying. <laughs> Interesting. Talking about food. Okay. Let me hear an example. Do we have el otro caballero de la clase acá, Samuel? Are you with us, Samuel? Can you make a question? Just you have you ever? Have you ever eaten couscous? Couscous? What's that? You're really confused, <laughs> guys. Sam Google you... dice que es cusuco. <laughs> <laughs> have you yes, I have. Así lo dice el traductor. <laughs> you have? Yes. Uh -huh. It's a picón. I ate, I had it. You can say, I had it, or I, I tried it. it. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Okay. Have you ever spoken with an, with an American speaker? Yes, I have. With my cousin. No, but, but my... you need to give me the confirmation. Okay, with your cousin. Uh, yeah, but okay, okay. I, I have ever, I have. Wait, it's affirmative. Yes, I have. I? Yes, okay. Yes, I have spoken. Not really. Here, what you need is the simple past, remember? Here, what you need is the simple past of the verb. Yes, I, okay, okay. Yes, I have. I spoke. Bingo. In the, uh, with American, oh. an, an American, you say? Yes, with an American speaker, and 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 oh. he is my cousin. You said you said he and or she's she. She's my cousin. Oh, she's your cousin. Okay, but you see, you see, guys, when it's affirmative, you need to use the simple past of the verb, porque están afirmando algo que ya lo hicieron, una acción que ya terminó. Entonces acá damos la confirmación. I ate it. I tried it. I spoke. Yeah. I visited. I went. Yes? Okay. One more question. One more question. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Have, have you ever drunk horchata? Mm -hmm. Volunteers. I have. I yes. drank it. I what? I? I drink drunk. Is drunk. drunk, 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 no, drunk, <laughs> drunk, drunk. I I drank it. I drank it. Ah, okay, 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 Got it. Got it. I drank it. It. Mm -mm. I drank it. Drunk is the simple pass. It. It. Is the it. Va a representar la horchata, ¿sí? Es de it. Entonces usted va a decir, drank it. I drank it. Drank it. Mm -hmm. you, you understand this part, guys? This is advanced English, guys. This is advanced English. So you really need to pay attention, especially when it's affirmative. Me gusta que digan verbos así. Me gusta. I love it. I love it. Especialmente irregulares que son los que cambian, que son los que más cuestan. Right? Okay, bueno, vamos a avanzar. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. A question for you. Okay. Have you ever, solo que aquí no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero lo voy a intentar. Mm -hmm. Have you ever taught English language? <laughs> yes, I have. Really? Yes, I, I taught English. Eh, or I have bueno en este caso es una acción que ha comenzado, cumple exactamente la regla del present perfect que es una acción que ha comenzado en el pasado y continúa en el presente right? entonces ahí yo te podría decir I have taught 
I have taught English for 15 years. Mm -hmm. What is the question, teacher? I don't understand. You don't, you don't understand the question. Ella me preguntó, have you, have you ever taught English? Do you understand taught? Enseñar. Uh -huh. Enseñar. Well, enseñado, en este Habla. caso. Like, enseñado, because it's the past participle. Uh -huh. So, taught is the, is the past participle of teach. Yes? Mm. Nice verb. Nice verb. Good question. Let's continue with the video, please. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. All right. Perfect. We're going to move on. Good practice, people. Good practice. Don't forget to complete your exercise in our platform. And we're going to continue speaking about a present perfect. We're going to see for and and since. 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 Okay. For and since. Now, remember, we're talking about present perfect. Okay, so this is very easy. For is to talk about a period of time. Yes? For is used to talk about a period, a portion of time. Okay. What is a period of time? Can you give an example of a period of time? For a week. <laughs> a week, yes. A week is a period of seven days. So you can say for a week, yes. What else? A month. For no, a, a month. year, semester, trimester. For a month. For a semester, yes. For a one hour. Oh. For, for one hour, yes. For one hour, because it's a period of 60 minutes. So for, for a second. What? <laughs> for a second. Repeat. A second. A second? Yeah. A second, no, because <laughs> a second is only one. It's not a period of time. Millesima de no. <laughs> Maybe two seconds. Two seconds, oh. yes, it's a period, you know, from, from here to here, yeah, from a beginning to an end. So that's a period of time for 10 years, for six months, for seven days, yes? Now, since... Since is used to talk about a specific point in time. Do you understand? Since yes. is to talk, is used to talk about a specific, a specific, not a period, a specific point in time. For example, since since last Friday. Since last Friday. Yes, since last Friday. Es un día en específico. I'm sorry. Since yesterday. Since yesterday. Okay. Okay. Since tomorrow. Tomorrow is future. It's not possible with future. Since with time, since 1 p.m. Do you understand? Yes. Six, since 
since 1 p.m. Yes. Desde la desde la una. Yes. And, and since this morning. Is... Since this morning, porque es es un es un tiempo específico. Yeah. Since this morning. Ouch. ¿Con qué más lo puedo usar? Specific year. Year, yes, I saw Eva. For example, since 2000. Hmm? Since 2010. Desde el 2010. Since 2010. Yes? Since 2020. Since 2020. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, yes. Puedo usarlo con los meses. Right. Yes. Sin January. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, we're going to do a little dynamic. Okay. We're going to do a little dynamic. Teacher Kalev is going to say the time marker. And the students will say since... Or four. Me lo dicen y me lo, y me lo chat acá para que me quede confirmado porque hoy no los puedo ver. No sé por qué. Um, so me lo ponen en el chat también. No solo me lo digan. Ok, please. I'm going to open my chat here. <laughs> so we can make corrections. Remember the objective is to improve. Ready? Yes. First one is... I was, I was born. I was born. Only that? <laughs> Since. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Hey, you gotta be quicker. You gotta be quicker. Si es si chatean bien rápido ahí en el celular. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, next, next, next. I met you. I met you. Okay, excellent, excellent. Quicker, guys, quicker. Come on, next. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Katia. Next, the graduation. The graduation. Oh, oh, are you Will kidding me? Miss uh, teacher, can be the since, since the graduation. ¿Por qué? ¿Me se oye bien? <laughs> ¿Cuándo fue? No se sabe, no es específico, Miss. Entonces, ahí no, ahí fallamos, chicos. Era since. Okay. O sea que no es un periodo, ese no es un periodo, right? Ese no es un periodo de tiempo, el de graduation es una graduación, right? Que pasó en una fecha específica. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Since, era since the graduation. Imagínense decir, no te he visto desde la graduación. ¿Ah? I haven't seen you since the graduation. Repeat. I 
I haven't. I haven't seen you since the graduation. I haven't seen you since. 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 Uh -huh. Next, 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 next. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, no, uh, isn't correct. Um, my graduation uh, was for 2000. No, that's not correct. No. Ahí vamos a usar la preposición in. La preposición in, in la va a usar usted con los años. Ajá. Si usted okay. va a usar un año, solo un año, va a usar uh -huh. in. Okay. Okay. Ahora, si usted va a usar una fecha completa, yo me va a decir usted eh, el, en okay. julio okay. Eh, 4 del 2000, ahí va a usar usted on. In, on. No, in 2000. For the year. Uh -huh. the complex. For the date. Date. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For the complete okay. date. Okay. Very Thank good. You. Very my pleasure. Vaya, next, next. Noon. Noon. N O O N. Noon. Analyze, analyze. What time, what time is noon? Teacher. What, what time, what time is noon? Noon. <laughs> no, you have entendido. Noon. No. <laughs> noon. Yeah. Okay. Noon. N-O-O-N. Mediodía. Ajá, ajá. What time? What time is noon? What time is 12. noon? 12. It's 12 p.m. It's a specific. It's a specific point in time. Since noon. Since noon. How do you say in English? No he comido, no he comido desde, desde el mediodía. I haven't eaten since noon. Repeat, guys. I haven't eaten since noon. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't eaten, eaten since noon. No. no. Okay. Repeat. Uh, okay. Next. 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 It's gonna be a minute. Please, no me contesten de un solo. Primero, piénsenlo un poquito, sí. A Repeat. minute. A minute. Excellent. Yes. For a minute. Correct. For a minute. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay. Next. Next. Nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. Excellent, guys. Wonderful. You're very intelligent. I love when you understand the explanation and the exercise. Thank you for your participation. Let's continue with four and since. Here we go. Hello. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time, for six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, 
for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since. Okay, so let me check first. I want to go back and analyze this. For and since, how long? Yeah, how long is exacto para eso, para un periodo de tiempo? How long did you live in Thailand? Look, how long did you live in Thailand? Um, is this question present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Simple past. So this means that you can make a question in simple past. How long did you live in Thailand? In, in the present perfect. How long have you lived in Miami? Live becomes lived because here you're using present perfect. So see the difference? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Simple past. Yeah. So it's important to identify the tense. Yeah, it's very important to identify the tense. Um, not only is difficult um, because it's simple past, but you have to identify what kind of past, if it's simple past or if it's present perfect or the tense. Different. Happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. Okay, here, Jessica, help us with for plus period of time. Help us reading, please. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Excellent, excellent. Remember, hours, you need to put the letter S always and pronounce the letter S because especially this can be countable nouns. I have worked here for five years, yeah? How long have you studied at Inglés Corporativo? I have studied for two months. Thank you. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. I, I have studied for 10 months. Hey, let me change the question. Let me change the question. I have curiosity. Um, how long? Not about English corporativo, but how long have you studied English overall? How long have you studied English, like in your life? Mm -hmm. I studied English I have two years old. Since I was. Since I, I was. Mm -hmm. Since I was two years old. Since I was a child. Yes. Yes. Let's continue here. Present perfect with four. Help me here. Emma, can you help us, Emma? Nope. Let's go with Elizabeth. Present perfect with four. Help us reading. Reading. Okay. She was lived. She here. has. She has lived here for twenty years. Uh huh. We have town at the school. For a long time. Taught. 
taught. taught. <clears throat> okay. We have taught at the school for a long time. Okay. Alice, Alice has been married for three months. Excellent. They have been at the hotel for a week. All right, all right. Do you have any question? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. This is present perfect. To describe an action that started in the simple past, in the past tense, and this action continues in the simple present. That's why it's present perfect, right? For example, Alice has been married for three months. Ya no está casada. Sí, aún está casada. She has been married. Ha estado casada y continúa casada, right? And she continues to be married. So this is present perfect. Alice has been married for three months. So let's continue. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, help me reading. Let me see. We're going to go with Ruth. Abigail, can you help us reading here? Since plus a specific moment. No, let's go with Yancy, help us. Okay. Since rigor. Yes, on top. Okay. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1990. All right, so this is a specific moment. For example, this is a specific moment. Since I was a child, it was a specific moment, yeah? Uh, since Wednesday, it was in a specific day. Since two o'clock, it was in a specific time. Or since 1990, it's in a specific year. Okay, let's go with, um, who's next? Let me see a gentleman, Carlos. Help us read in present perfect with since. She has liked her since uh, 19, 19, 19, you pronounce this number, 19, 19. And then this number, 80. 80. And here, this pronunciation is lived. Lived. Again, repeat, please. Okay. She has lived her since 1980. Correct. We Continue, have, please. we have taught uh, at this school since 1906. Six five? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay. Uh, Alice has been married since March 2nd. Since March 2nd. Since March 2nd. All right, good. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Since, since. last Tuesday. Since last 
Thursday. Hotel. Repeat hotel. Hotel. Day. All right. All right. Perfect, guys. This is it for today. Thank you for your attention. Pamper, pamper yourself, pamper yourself. You did great. I will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Everybody, you have a lovely night, sweet dreams. Rest assured, we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. Good, Good night. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Sweet dreams. Bye bye. Thank you. You too. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs>